Hi, this is Dawn Oshevsky and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today we're going to make this really cool, it's a faux pinwheel technique. And it's super easy to do. We're going to use Stampin' Up's Sweet Shop Specialty Paper. I love this, it's great for birthdays, kids, cards, things like that. Um, it also comes with a couple sheets of more of a cardstock feel to it that's embossed. So it's this Wisteria Wonder and this Coral Calypso. How cute is that? So let's get started. The first thing that you'll need is two squares of soft suede cardstock and they are measured 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths. Then I'm taking my dotto and I've just added some here in the center of Stampin' Up's grid paper. Love this for this technique. Um, I'm going to use the bold lines that intersect each other right here and I'm going to place my cardstock on the diamond shape instead of a square shape and I've lined up the points here and here and here and here. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to use adhesive and I want it to go the other direction. So we're going in the square direction. Now since I make, when I make cards, I usually make multiples of them as long as I got the supplies out. So I made myself a little template to find where the center of this is and I've put um, marked dots here and here. So it's easy to line up every time. Next you'll need eight squares that are measured one and quarter inch. Now um, four of mine are Calypso Coral and then I've actually added some texture with them with the Perfect Polka Dots texture embossing folder. And then my other four, oops, my other four are from the Sweet Shop, this cute little cupcake um, design. I'm going to start with one of my squares and what you want to do is we're going to be positioning it right here and I only for just for this first square only I want to get my adhesive on this side and um, the reason for that is when we go all the way around I want to be able to lift this edge up all right so at this point I'm just going to take it off my grid paper so I can work with it and we're going to start adding squares so I'm going to position my next one here and can you see how I'm kind of leaving an edge here? It's like it's um, like the soft suede mats all of our little pieces that we're going to put on. I'm going to turn it, add it to this one. There we go. Right, I'll do one more. Okay, add it again. All right, so now we're ready to add our very last piece, which I have ready here. I've already ha added my adhesive on the back side of it. Now remember, this was our first one, and we only added the adhesive on just half of um, the square. So now I'm able to tuck this one in and kind of position it where I want it. There we go. All right, now at this point, you can add a little adhesive so this flap will stay down. Just going to add that right on there. And there you go. Next, I want to add these cute little sweet shop brads. These are jelly bean brads. Love the name of that. And you get four different uh, varieties here, and there's four of each for a total of 16. Now, I'm actually going to add it to a circle that is soft suede, and this was... Um, punch with a three-quarter inch circle punch. Add my brad in the middle. There we go. Now I'm going to make a hole in the middle of my pinwheel and add it to here. So how cute is that looking? I love it. Now we're ready to add it to the card with um, four dimensionals. I'm going to put it right here. And there we go. It's not a cue card. I've added a greeting here, and that was done with the Sweet Cake stamp set from the Stampin' Up! 2012 Occasions Mini. I also have a couple other designs here using some of the other um, pattern paper. So cute. 
but I have to admit, I think the cupcakes is my favorite. So I hope you enjoy making your own faux pinwheel cards, and be sure to stop by my blog at DoStampingWithDawn.com.